Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. We're back here on Middleburg with Grover Games. So, the so we got most of our, we got all of the sorghum harvested. Right now we're just working on get, making sure we get our, oh, our winter barley sown in time right now. I'm going to make up the first few outpasses of this new field and then we're going to hop into the 8,000. Actually, I think we're just going to make one pass on this field and then we're going to let the helper take over. I think the one pass should be enough. Then we'll let the helper take over and keep working at this, and then we'll we'll get started planting right away. Because I'm kind of leaning towards of just making this episode this month a two-part episode. I know our first part of the first month of the series was a three-part episode, but we had a, quite a bit going on, and we had a lot of stuff we had to get knocked out right away. Usually, how it goes when you start a new save file, it seems on a map anymore. Um, but right now. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do about our cultivator situation yet. Like I said, we're going to we're just going to finish this season out with this John Deere and either I'm going to have to figure out if we want to invest into a tractor with front wheel assist, which I kind of don't want to right away for this series. Grant, we already got that 2950 with front wheel assist, but it's it's not not the same as us buying like a big big tractor with front wheel assist. The only thing I could think of is that I could I could just get rid of the other 8,000 and just make this more of the smaller tractor and get a front wheel, front wheel sys 8,000, but I don't know if I want, really want to do that at this particular time. I, I kind of rather just stick with all two-wheel drive tractors. Hopefully they get going at a decent crit rate. No, it's kind of a steeper slope, but I think it should be fine. But let's hop into the 8,000 here. We'll see how it does pulling this. I haven't really messed around with this tractor too much. I'm kind of wondering if I sh should have got duels for this, but I think we should be fine. There. Oh, is it? Mm. I think we're going to be fine here. I think we just got to shift it up a gear. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is going to handle it fine without duels. But we're gonna we're gonna get this all sewn today here and get everything taken care of. I'm hoping that we we have more than enough seed and fertilizer here to do both fields. I think we should. I don't think it should be an issue at all. But you never really know starting out, especially since we're not compared to my No Man's Land series. We're just gonna be pretty much fertilizing everything as we put it into the ground. We're not gonna get too high tech. I kind of would like to stay back a ways and just because that was the intention with my No Man Land series and then my part of my OCD wanted to be like well I want to mess around with all the new precision stuff and that's the only one of the only few series I think it would have been fun to mess around with especially seeing the different type types of soil mapping mapping alien Jim had on that map here, there but I think oh yeah we definitely should have more than enough seed to get this all knocked out. We might actually have to go down and buy a few more bags of fertilizer though. Grant, we only get, there's not, we don't get to put much fertilizer in the drill here. Oh yeah, we'll probably be able to make one more full pass and then we'll have to fill up, but we got, I bought 3,000 liters of fertilizer, so I'm almost certain we're gonna have to go back down down to the shop and pick up another couple bags, but we'll leave the trailer here if we do that. That's probably a good thing we got that sorghum sold, because I think we're going to start burning through our money pretty fat, pretty quickly here, so to speak. And I'm trying to decide what other crops we're doing. We're obviously... I already kind of planned that field four where we had our weed at. I'm going to put that into corn next season. Now, I don't know what we're going to put these two other bigger fields up here. I know I'm, I'm planning to do one at least in soybeans. I don't know if we'll do another one in soybeans as well yet. Just because it's kind of an easy catch-all crop. You don't have to... Huh. Bouncing around a lot and saying it needs fertilizer or not. Just kind of goofy watching it. Actually, I think we can... I think we can go a little bit faster yet. Nah, we should be fine right now. Yeah, this this is going to be fine. But the plan for today is we're going to get at least... We're going to try and get all this sewn today, yet this episode here. 
So that way we can pro move. We can more than likely move on to next month. If we don't get this all sown, we'll probably mess around with liming a little bit of the field we just harvested, or we're probably gonna. We probably should really get all that straw off the ground and get that all bailed. That'll be. That'd be a nice little bit of extra income for us, but we're gonna jump into the time lapse here finally. We're gonna, like I said, we're planning to get this all done. We'll have to see how far we get today, so we'll see you guys in a bit. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts when everyone folds your forge to hold. Your place in your bed, showing no regret. Close your eyes to hide your lies. Roll the dice. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my To trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. When I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my
time. 
All right, everyone, we're getting to the point where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. I think we're going to be moving into next month after this episode, to be honest with you. Uh, I decided to come out. We had enough time to come out here and try to finish up bailing what straw we have left, and we'll probably end up selling this stuff meantime down the road. Um, I'm thinking next month, we'll, this, I think the sunflowers will be ready to harvest, so we'll be working on that. And I'll probably be working on getting to the one of these two bigger fields lime, so that way that's done and out of the way. So I was thinking here, I might do this next month as well and hold off on liming, is that I might, I think we might work on getting our, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I think we're going to work on getting ourselves, oh, the cattle, a uh, cattle situation, operation going here. So what I was thinking is that we might invest into the cattle and the, over the winter or in the springtime if we get enough money rounded up here. Uh, so I, I was thinking before winter comes, I'm thinking that we got, we can get into that cattle pasture and if we mow the grass there and tether it, we can bale hay off it and leave it on the racks and store it in the sheds for a while. I th think that's what we're going to be, we're probably going to be working on next month as well instead of just, oh, instead of just working out What's the word I'm looking for? Instead of just liming fields, I feel like we could save liming for all oh, for next year type th situation. This last windrow here, and the rest we'll just leave out here. But I, that's kind of what I'm leaning f towards, like getting the pasture baled, and hopefully we can at least get one full rack of hay bales. I think that would get us by for a good amount of time, especially if we just buy six or seven cattle and go from there. I think... I haven't decided what we would really go with. I th was I know in my other series I was doing agus, so I think we'll go with the limousines. I think they're called the basically the other variant of cattle we can buy, buy in the farm and simulator. I pull that out. Oh, yep. Yep, come on, come on! You're the last bale. I just need you to get on there. There we go. Get on the rack, and we'll fold this up here. There we go. But I think that's what I got planned for next month and next episode here. We'll we'll end up we'll end up just getting everything kind of put together so we're good to go there. I think we'll just I think I'm gonna try and back this up to the other rack. I don't know how well this is gonna work out. We'll give it a quick try here before we fully end the episode. See see if my backing skills are any good getting any better in this game. If not, I'll just, we'll just have to cheat a little. Oh, really hard to see with all the trees in the way. The one thing about backing up wagons like this is just you got to be a little bit patient and there we go. I think I got the, got it about right where I want it now, kind of. Not to be afraid to pull head a little bit to try and re-straighten your axles out. Nope. A little bit trickier with this baler in between us as well. I think we got this now. We gotta be getting close to the hitch, I think. Oh, we're quite a ways off there, so we'll just drag the hitch over a little bit. You know, this one thing that kind of surprised me that they really haven't developed that way is just be able to turn drawbars like that on wagons and stuff like that. Because if they're empty, pretty much empty like that, these ones are. Even then, you can we can usually in reality get them all be able to turn the drawbar just enough to get it hooked up to the wagon. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.